it'll make you grow guys from goa uh, he is the winner of uh, mr and mrs supermodel 2021 and this was organized by the city high life uh, you know who frequently conduct these uh, events on a regular basis to highlight uh, models like uh, ayush so thanks a lot ayush for joining us taking time out on sunday he's also pursuing his engineering so sunday is the best time for him so ayush kaisa lag raha hai how is it uh, being uh, so uh, and you know getting into limelight now yeah feeling good uh, i feel it's a great thing of being here with you and yeah hope i enjoy it enjoying it right now okay ayush uh, uh, in this particular platform we make a lot of new friends and you know you are here you are here uh, with a lot of passion so friends who are watching this would love to know about ayush ayush kahan se hai kahan padhta hai uh, what are his hobbies uh, free time mein kya karta hai kya masti karta hai so maybe you know you can introduce yourself to the friends out here okay so i am basically from goa i am from a so i have a proper goan and right now i'm doing my engineering i'm doing my uh, marine engineering so i'm doing a course so that will be soon getting over and i'll be joining my work soon by profession i'm a runway model i have done many shows i have been into modeling for a quite long time so modeling as a thing what i would think of taking it all time profession but hope for the best how it goes and yeah this is the thing i'm more into my hobbies are into dancing i'm a professional da- uh, dancer into jazz and contemporary so i've been there for dancing from since i was in my 9th standard so okay. dancing is always been yeah so i feel dancing is a such, uh, uh, such a thing where it flows with your soul all the time yeah, i am into fitness now i've joined into fitness so fitness has become a part of life where you know you can't live without it so fitness dancing yeah, this is the thing about how, how do you manage about, time you know college you know dancing and then you know fitness dancing is the thing like it is been a passion it is not been a profession but uh, like you know it is only in your free times like sometime when you have to make your talent sharp so that time it is dancing yeah, it's not all that. but uh, being a engineering student it becomes tough to manage all the things because it is like you know your college then your work stress then your projects assignments and all so half of your day is gone in your studies only hmm. and if it is modeling then it is one more challenge where you have to manage this also but what happens like when you are interested in something and you want something very high in life you have to manage time both the sides true so yeah that is that becomes again a experience and again a new lesson challenge like you know where you have to deal with this so yeah it goes on like that so how how was the event uh, the city high life uh, event where you participated and how did hyderabad treat you <laughs> uh, since i uh, was there in this show for two times first time it was a fashion week uh, it was in the month of december mostly january december so that was the first time i visited hyderabad hyderabad is a good city uh, actually it's a well developed city if someone has to visit hyderabad it would be because of its developed Uh, city is like you know the beautiful i have be not been to much places because i had to come back to goa soon after the show mm. the first time when i had been to hyderabad it was tough time because soon after my show the fashion week what happened i had to come back to goa because my exams were approaching okay. and this time also the same thing happened like i was in hyderabad and we i made it out for two extra days after the show like i just wanted to go to this char minar which i could not go <laughs> and then I, i visited one more bukkal garden some i it was a nice place so we visited over there after the show and i had to come back to goa about the show like uh, it was a good challenge for me in the show because uh, being in hyderabad i met new people over there mm-hmm. because this uh, modeling is a field where you meet lot of people a lot of new people lot of designers a lot of models with you so it was a good journey i enjoyed it i enjoyed it really nice and it was a very um, a good experience for me because uh, this is the second time i'm winning a pageant uh, and for me it was like kuch bhi kar tujhe jeetna hai tujhe jeetna hai because uh, i remember nahim sayed sir he's my sir from goa so he had come with us like there were other contestants from goa itself so it was good i enjoyed it it was a good experience for me and it was really challenging because uh, i was there was people to groom you there was designers 
So the great thing about modeling is like you meet different designers with different style. Yeah. So this time it was a very different style and I was I really liked the outfit. So I was in the comfort zone where I really enjoyed the show. So and the competition level also was tough because mm. I had the other contestants with me. Like they were really good. They really did good. Yeah, but all I want to luck. So I how about the you know co participants because they were also across from across India. So kaisa tha? You know they're just not from Hyderabad, right? So yeah. So वो जर्नी कैसे थी वेन यूर लाइक बिहाइंड द स्टेज इन ऑल दैट जो हम देखते हैं इज वेन यू राम फॉक बट बिहाइंड द सीन लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन बिहाइंड द सीन बिहाइंड द स्टेज वॉट हैपन लाइक फुल डे इट इज लाइक वेरी दस फुल डे यू हैव टू स्टैंड इट्स लाइक योर ग्रूमिंग सेशन कंटिन्यूज गो ऑन देन यू हैव सम लिटिल टाइम देन यू मिक्स अप विद अदर कंटेस्टेंट नाउ देर वर पीपल फ्रॉम हैदराबाद देर वर पीपल फ्रॉम मुंबई बैंगलोर कश्मीर देर वर पीपल इवन फ्रॉम दिल्ली so yeah we we mixed up with everyone we had a great uh, talk conversation with them and you know they had only one thing baba itne dur se aaya to kuch to leke jana hai kuch to leke jana hai they had that uh, good uh, you know that deal of uh, winning this pageant they had that good confidence in them so it was a great thing like you know you also were in that zone where your confidence was built again because what happens when you meet different type of people uh, you start experimenting new things and you start gaining in your thing something hmm. so it was a good thing that we meet lot many people and behind the stage it is always like grooming then your walk back to back walk then you hardly have some time to have your lunch your dinner whatever it is I, I, it goes on like you know because into for me into being in modeling from a very start it was like tough now it ek aadat jo ban chuki hai so it is like that so uh, honestly tell me how you know behind the stage you know do you get a chance to you know uh, select your partner whom you will walk with because you know uh, th- there'll be a occasion where you have to you know choose one you know female partner whom you will walk with so usme choice dete hain ya you know it it's just done by the organizer or the designers they will choose that okay you know the, these two are the best fits so let them go along or you get the chance saying that nahi usko bahut attitude hai i don't want to walk with her <laughs> so <laughs> does these things happen no uh, basically in modeling what happens you don't get a chance you don't get a chance to choose your partner mm-hmm. it is either height wise yeah it is either the on the organizer like to couple up with the same uh, walk style yeah the same uh, comfort zone like if i have a good walk then he would put a girl with me who has a good walk with me so it depends again it depends on the outfit like if i have a western uh, if i have a western look or a traditional look he would give me a girl with a long height mm. who could carry a lehenga with together so it depends again on the organizer it is very rarely very 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 rarely who you can choose your partner in the modeling thing but again if it is like uh, into a pageant and if your partner is given to you then you have to sit with her and talk to her baba we have to walk properly because the judging is done again on the couples you i mean on the solo, solo ya yeah, couple so you have to look the best so it is again like that so uh, do you also have this option where you can say that i will not wear this particular designer wear because in one of the uh, dinner designers it uh, i'm not sure i'm not from fashion but this was like a sari or a wrap around uh, you know or or a lungi sort of uh, thing and that that was one of the walks which you did so yeah ye, ye matlab you have to wear whatever the designer is giving you to be comfortable or you you make like choices yaar ye kya pehen rahe hain can i skip that uh about the designer outfit see basically the thing has happened what i have walked on the lungi and that uh, it was a koti type of thing mm-hmm. like i really enjoyed walking in it because what happened i was into because i love walking on traditions on uh, the ramp because i have i also have a dream on walking uh, with a long kurta and lehenga because it this is done in the international pageants and all so i have never come across a designer like this about the outfit uh, it is again the uh, uh, the designer's choice because uh, the designer gives the outfit on basis of their height than the looks and the thing is like you cannot deny again because uh, see basically the designer has his own choice he has been into, like he or she has been into this field so they very well know like what uske upar kya acha lagega ya how would he carry this outfit so it is again given by the designer to the model but there are models like in my journey i found 
they didn't like it hmm. they didn't like it so it is like i'm not comfortable in it i so that there are designers who again give them a choice like now okay this then again people they don't like it so designer bolta baba okay what do you want you select but what happens you know indirectly it is uh, you know again a tough journey for the designer because if the guy uh, if the guy has a traditional look and he goes for a western then it would be like Hmm. It is like you know the com- uh, the designer would be not in the comfort zone like what he is trying to put out on the stage. Yeah, as a so, designer, he I'm sure he is he has planned his theme and you know he wants everybody to wear that and you know these sudden exactly. changes in plan just because of one or two people I think you know makes it tough for them. Exactly, exactly. because because a model is always a hanger of a designer, so hmm. a designer always has to design his hanger. So, so this is the thing, yeah. good so so many things behind the thing it's just not uh, you know wearing something exactly. and you know walking yeah right right there's right. a whole lot of uh, story behind it even i remember when i was walking from uh, the supermodel india the lungi was loose na and i told the designer saying that because that was a silk cotton hmm. so it doesn't yeah. take a grip so i told the designer saying that i'm really very much happy with this outfit but only the thing the lungi has to be very tight this hard like while walking but uh, when i had done my walk and i was coming back lungu lungi chhut gayi thi so oh. so i had to walk like that because i could not give any other reaction i had to be in my yeah, you have to be as confident as what i'm carrying uh, so it was a good thing it was good you know you learn different things out of different outfits again super so we have uh, adlin saying hi ayush uh, and congratulations to you and we also have somebody i am not sure about the name uh, in bengali but uh, he is showing the fingers uh, <laughs> say go <laughs> so anybody has any questions for uh, ayush while he is live uh, feel free to comment i'll read that out uh, in the meanwhile let's have a quick lip, uh, look of all the modeling photos ayush has done i made a you know video short video out of it so here is the video we're back so uh, 
who who's your favorite photographer or a friend who always portrayed you you know as a model you know took those awesome clicks uh the clicks what uh, now the thing photography is done by one of my friends in mali he is not into photo uh, session like he is not into photography but he has a lot of ideas about it although he had a dream of becoming a photographer but now he is into his hotel management he is doing good but the clicks were taken by uh, he, from a, a photographer from goa it was prasad pankar and uh, belly fernandes so yeah the four. so uh, when i was there in goa like you know almost 20 years back uh, the life was like you know work hard party hard you know that what was there in the genes of every person who lived in goa as a resident or you know people who were there ab kaisa has that changed or uh, is it still the same and what in what's goa, your mantra goa. of what uh, living in goa being uh, born uh, like being in goa uh, getting a birth in goa it's blessing like for me it's, i feel like that because it is a nature it is into a environment place where you have your own lifestyle now what happens like see now if i have to travel to hyderabad when i was in i mujhe aisa lag raha tha kab jaunga ghar kab jaunga because like i'm into that uh, environment with sea breeze plants environments now the things are changing slow and steady in goa now it's trying to get a more better development so things are really changing because the past 5 uh, years things have really changed rapidly very fast mm-hmm. in goa so yeah goa is getting better day by day and of course goa is a such a small state but people have a dream of coming to goa so it's a very big uh, you know blessing for the goan people i feel it's a good place like you know to relax yeah chill out yeah yeah the so first first thing that comes out in anybody's mind party karna hai travel karna hai is goa so. <laughs> <laughs> that is there and uh, daru mil raha hai and uh. this is i don't know what happened but people have that mindset about goa like party and uh, you know whatever it is like yeah you can say goa north goa is having a lot of parties so the place in india like more of parties it would be delhi mumbai and goa okay people have that thing yeah So we have some uh, rapid fire questions for you Mayush are you all set ready Yeah yeah ready. okay what what is the silliest fear i mean you're a macho man now you're into gymming and all that but what is your silliest fear silliest fear would be no fear such as but uh, nothing such as serious hmm. fear okay one fear thing the bahut bada ek sath aata hai so yeah What is that something you want to accomplish before you die? Mm, uh, it's my dream of um, it's a, I don't know it is one of my biggest dream and I'm really working for it uh, for achieving Mr. Super National. Uh, that's a pageant modeling pageant again. Mm-hmm. So from in Goa it was 2017 when Pratimesh Malinkar had won the pageant, and yeah, hoping for the best after Pratimesh Malinkar it would be me. so so that is the thing i have to achieve before dying super all the best for that so if we visit your home you know what what is the best room and you know what what does the people what is that people like who visit your home uh people would like to visit my home it is it was it could be because of my garden and it would be because of my room the only thing in my house <laughs> the hall and it would be so all other let's it's normal like everyone has a hall everyone has his own setup but people would visit uh, about my place because of my garden yeah people do still and it would be because of my room it's a different very different uh, world uh, yeah you can say so what what special what what's the decoration around kaisa hai ayush ka choices around the room what what are the must few things that ayush room will have my room would contain like uh, see being a boy people have like ladke ka room sabse ganda room hota hai but uh, in this case it is a different because my mom is which trick and she has to be like she have on cleanliness my room would be like ek trophy ka ek jagah then i have a fish tank one place then i would have a computer where i could just sit and it is opposite to that i have a you know a window where i am just studying on a computer and i am fed up With the thing what I'm doing, I just look outside. I say, okay, I have to go out now. So it has a different, uh, you know, different part of my room where you have to see a different, you know, thing in it. Like then I have a shelf of books. 
then that books also would be all comedy aisa kuch degree ka books nahi hai <laughs> so it would be like some funny book yeah it would be some uh, written stories on a author yeah something like that more of it super so uh, we have another comment uh, you know swapna says good luck when your future goals uh, this is based on the response to the previous question so uh, a lot of people goa is the destination to take uh, somebody on a date but what's what's your best place to take uh, your date which location would you take her uh, it would be kashmir because see be oh. i am in goa for a quite long time so i'm done with goa it would be kashmir uh, yeah it would be kashmir it would be kashmir because i i have a dream of going to kashmir and i feel kashmir would be a proper date again because it's again in the hilly areas and that peace and you know a different view you can see because mm-hmm. see, when you go for a date you don't want disturbance you don't want anyone to interrupt you don't want in a crowdy or a well developed place either you want nature either you want hilly areas yeah you know somewhere peace somewhere far off from the city so it would be kashmir superb so uh every every person has a, a certain smell whenever you come across certain smell you know it will bring back uh, your memories to childhood so what is that smell which you know takes you back to your childhood uh i feel this is the season i mean this season you could say could take me back to my childhood because ye season it is all about mangoes it is all about cashew then it is summer then you know that uh, hot season where a lot of ice creams cool fees with my chi- i mean in my childhood then the mango you have to climb the mango trees it is, this is the perfect season i mean the perfect smell you can say that it takes me to the childhood every summer it like ha kya yaade the wo bachpan ki <laughs> so this is the perfect one i can say yeah. everybody has uh, you know certain pet names or you know nicknames from childhood ghar mein ek naam rehta hai you know dad calls something you know mom calls you something and you know during entire journey from schooling uh college days you know your names change you know people call you with certain names so what what has been your best pet name aisa naam aisa kuch nahi hai people like from the childhood it would be like uh, like only one name i remember my sister was like bhaiya bhaiya that also when i passed out my fifth sixth i don't know what happened to her she called me ayush again <laughs> parents were always ayush 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 and like even friends like there are no names as such either now i get names like a model either i mean a model how are you so it is like naam gaya profession aaya so it is like uh, like the people like hey model like they even they don't say hayush model it is like hey model how are you so there is no such pet name as such it is always been ayush people like ayush so they don't want to change it to a pet name okay so as for ayush what is success in life uh success is determination hard work and uh, aims you can say because success for every person depends again person to person but uh, having a success and a very strong aim in life no person can as- achieve anything in life success is something it uh, i have seen people in goa success in my age people they just sit at home like mujhe ye banna hai mujhe wo banna hai success again does not waits for anyone yeah it doesn't sit with anyone automatically ran the raat gaye dusre subah success it is all about hard work again because uh, it's not even in my modeling field it is not one time two time there are losses there are times where i failed there are times where i've cried there are times where i've overcome the fear what actually was from a st- uh, short age of my childhood then success for me it builds again after 3 years 4 years it came back to me success because that is a time when i thought about it success is something that i have to work hard i have to gain knowledge it is success and knowledge is never going to die till your last point of life it is always going to increase it is something something new different success is all about hard work for me hard work and aim determination in life if you have a proper aim determination and you have a proper mindset then no one can stop you for your success most stylish way or hatke way somebody has proposed to you you don't have to take uh, the names <laughs> i think okay it was in my school time uh it was in my school time she i remember about we were having that uh, in the uh, break time we were having a uh, whatever the breakfast yeah the snacks 
so all of a sudden she comes up and she had a crush on me i have no idea about it it was from a wait that day only come she comes and she proposes me with a samosa she takes a samosa and then she pro- then that was the craziest part and i was like okay she's joking and that is the time when she told me about a hey, samosa i want to start a uh, love story with you with a samosa i was like what <laughs> <laughs> good one that was a very weird thing and craziest thing like you know someone could propose you with a samosa तब से मुझे समोसा खाने से डर लगता है ऑन वैलेंटाइन डे बी केयरफुल न्यू आइडिया कमिंग अप नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम रेड फ्लॉर्स रेड रोजेस यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रपोज विद समोसा क्लास रूम में and sabko mazak laga starting mein then she fell on her knees and all that i was like what is happening oh my god <laughs> yeah so that was a crazy i still remember about it and my sister remembers about me and she you know sometimes <laughs> when ghar mein baat chalti hai like you know when my parents my cousins all around about love then my sister come pops up with a i don't know this That's point okay. where yeah so that is this ओके फिर लोग पांव bhi pad rahe hain aayush ke liye mere bhai ke liye ghar ke you know she would have started <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, i wouldn't ask you what you did for your friends but who is that one friend who can do anything for you uh, should i mention the name yeah you can one friend uh, it would be donors it could it would be donors or either malik so i would take two names malik or donors okay. so these are being uh, these are friends a very strong backbone into my life in my success in my success and my full life stage till whatever i'm sitting here right now they are very strong backbone yogesh is also one of them so they have always been with me always been with me in my tough time like it, it is modeling then they have to tell me like okay aisa karenge waisa karenge even when i had to go to hyderabad i had to talk to them because there was other show where i applied on the uh, applied and they had postponed the days i mean the hyderabad dates were postponed and it came on the same day of the other show of mine so it was flashing so i needed to talk to someone then they are always there like okay aisa kar aisa kar aisa kar you have to do this so they always guide me these three people and they are always strong to me super i hoping for great that god bless us for a bright future together super Touch wood. Uh, let this friendship be as strong as it is and should be forever. So I'm done with the rapid fire questions, Ayush. Uh, the last question uh, before we leave, you know, this episode is about beautiful minds. Uh, you're, you're a combination of a beautiful mind with beauty, with which fashion, everything engrossed. So, what what is the suggestion you have for people out there with respect to grooming? How important is it for people to carry themselves well? whether they are participating in a fashion whether they are you know uh, becoming a model or not how important is grooming for them see grooming is not fully done in a uh, modeling field grooming is done when we were since uh, 11th i mean first standard of our class cutting of my hair i like cutting of the hair your cutting of your nails then being clean so these are all the thing comes under your grooming then again other than that modeling field would contain your walk grooming comes under walk then your attitude what attitude you have to carry on the stage then your style these are the extra things what happen in uh, modeling basically uh, every person grooming is very necessity that is like uh, see if you have to present yourself to the world or to the environment you have to groom yourself first it can be in your walk your talk your cleanliness your health your hair style anything like for me grooming is very important because i am into a i am into a profession where i have to be all time groom like even if i get a call from a photographer right now like okay we have to go for a shoot i have to be ready for that minute of time it cannot be like okay i have to go to cut my hair i am not prepared for it i don't know what poses to give so it is like you have to be groomed everywhere because as you are groom you present good to the person opposite person and uh, when you present to opposite person like he or she is impressed by your work by your talk your by your nature your style there are companies i still remember uh, in goa mm. uh, they don't take you on your talk or your qualification they take you on how groomed you are 
Oh. How groom? So now in today's generation, grooming has become a very necessity in life, and people like people, the youngsters and all, now they are like, it is in the high rapid, uh, you know, what you say that uh, aim in life that they have to be groomed because it's like we never know who can cross across. True. You know? So true. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Ayush, for joining us on the show and you know taking time out on mm-hmm. Sunday. So all the best for all the future endeavors uh, you participate in, and your goal, what you have, uh, you know, we wish, you know, you achieve that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so so and all the best uh, and thanks a lot for the City High Life team for you know organizing all this, uh, where you're motivating people not only within the city but across India. Uh, because this makes a lot of difference for uh, a lot of aspiring, uh, you know, models out there who are making their career into fashion. Um, so the only thing which we miss uh, here in Hyderabad is uh, the beach. Uh, you know, we, we we do not have opportunity for marine engineering here. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, all the best with whatever you do, and uh, God bless you and your friends uh, who are cheering you up. Thank you, Ayush. Yeah, a great job. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. You too. Thank you. Bye, friends.